Thank you very much for joining us. Job done. End of the, end of the round for the next. Oh, sorry, end of the half for the next round. Yes, yes. Uh, job done is a good way, word to describe it. You know, it was it was a when it comes out of the hat and it's away from home. You never know what you're coming to. You know, you don't know the facilities. You don't know the pitch. Uh, you don't know how wide the pitch, long the pitch is, etc. And there's there's so much more to be done. Uh, so there's always a little bit of the unknown, uh, and that can sometimes uh, spook you a little bit. But you know, I thought the man of our performance today was was superb. I have to credit Knockbreeder. The, the 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 pitch here today was was stunning. If that, if that was an Irish League pitch anywhere in the country, you would be proud of it. It was it was a immense, immense, really really good. Uh, but. Uh, it actually probably suited us. Uh, we were able to get the hold of the ball and knock it around, and and, and we, we worked the ball out particularly well from the back. I thought Billy Joe Burns and Daniel today, I thought were just class, pure pure class, and 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 we're able to start our moves and get the ball moving into the right areas and 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 keep us on the ball, and that opened up a lot of chances for us. You know, we probably should have took some more chances in the early doors in the first 15 minutes. We're in four times, uh, didn't get that breakthrough, and then we did get the the breakthrough. And then we start to pile on the pressure and get the, the goals as they start to flow. So the, probably the big thing for me was 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 making sure we got over the line. Was it was getting one or two players off the pitch as well uh, when they started to get a bit feisty, uh, and hoping that you've you've conserved a bit of energy from one or two going into another big game, w whatever that game will look like on Tuesday night. So a lot a lot to think about. You know you you know there's a lot goes in behind the scenes that people don't see, um, but you hope that you've got people ready to play and and but a very good performance from us today. Very very pleased. The first goal seemed key, Stephen, today, and particularly in days with it like this where you're coming down, you know, as you said, in an away ground, you don't know what the facilities are going to be like. How important was it just to, to get your noses in front and then kick on from them? Yeah, most definitely. You know, when, you, when you're playing a, a, a team in, a, in a, a league below you uh, who, are, who, are, who have maybe four or five, six players in their team who have played Irish League football, who have got a little point to prove, uh, other younger lads who have uh, been around other Irish League clubs, maybe at, at, at reserve team level, who who will work their socks off for the team, and you, and you saw the enthusiasm of the team in their warm up and in their preparation. You knew that they were uh, they were going to be you know hard not to crack, and and and, and for that first 15 or 20 minutes, you, you have to work incredibly hard to get you know the breakthrough. Uh, so you have to. It's a bit like the boxing, you know. You have to, you have to sort of work, work your way around the ring, just to soften them up a little bit. And, and we did that, and uh, we got in for a few chances early, and we didn't, we didn't take them. And you're sort of going, we need a breakthrough. And then when it came, and then we got a second, you could start, you could see us really starting to up our gears. And I thought the last 15 or 20 minutes, our ball retention and passing was real top drawer. It was good to watch, and uh, and, and fitting that we, we scored a fifth goal. I wanted to ask you, Stephen, about Daniel Larmer. He obviously came into the side, you know, last week at, at Windsor Park, and he done very well. And you, when we spoke a few months ago, you said he was one for the future. How impressed have you been since he's come back into the team now? Well, you know, when you when you look at players uh, around the league and, and admire players from other clubs, you then you then get them into your own club and, and see where they are and, and what level they're at and against what you, what you have in, in your squad. And 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 Daniel. Uh, Daniel come into us. He's, he's he's probably put a stone of weight on since he's come to us. Uh, he's been in the gym working an extra two sessions over everybody else. Um, so he's put that muscle on that he needs to put on to play at centre half. Uh, he, he's naturally quick. He passes the ball well. We, he needs to get that aggression in his game for the position that he plays. Uh, and and those little things that he's he has he has put the hard work in. Uh, behind the scenes, and and that first two or three months, you know, he played he played in a couple of games when he first got got to us, and by his own admit admittance, he he wasn't near ready to play. He said to me, he says Stephen, I haven't played for two months, and uh, and he wasn't up to the level, and and he knew that, so he, he you know he put the hard graft in. He worked really hard behind the scenes, and and we got him up to the level that he needed to play, and 
he stepped into the team at Linfield uh, against Linfield and I thought he was man of the match and I think probably today he could well be man of the match his, his level performance was top door but he needs to produce that every single week and he knows that because that's the level of the game and when you see that from a young lad who with that fierce determination to do well that's what we need in him and, and by his own admittance he's very laid back by nature yes. and we need to get a little bit more out of him uh, because when you play centre half there's not too many laid back characters I know what play centre half I'm sure, Stephen, when you look back at the last two games, you know, the Lauren defeat, the Linfield defeat, would it be fair enough to say there's a bit of a, an identity change maybe throughout the Crusaders team? I think the, the performances have been superb. Maybe not come away with the results that's maybe been, been warranted, but is it fair enough assessment maybe to say maybe just to change the dynamic and how the, the style of play? Well, again, you know, when, when we watch games back and at, at the level that we, that we do, we analyse an awful lot of stuff with, with players and, and uh, running stats and all, all the bits and pieces that go into it and, and what players are doing, how they're doing it. Uh, and, you know, as again, as coaching staff, you come away, you, you monitor the performance and the performance level against Lauren and Linfield was just absolutely superb. So I can't knock the team for that. When you don't get over the line in a football match and you're beaten, Sometimes it's not, it's not sometimes the manner of the performance. It's just small margins. It's isn't small it? margins. Yeah. It's fine margins, and you know you, you sometimes come off the game going, "How do we lose that?" Yeah. Um, and we've done it the teams and, and come off and won games and gone. Let me. We're lucky there today because we got away two 0 but we the other team were better than us, and and so, but you must take heart from that, and you must you must stick with your principles. You must keep doing what you're doing, and keep encouraging the team to do well, and keep asking them to play, and and when you have players of the quality of people like Ben Kennedy and uh, Gary Thompson, Philip Laurie, Jordan Forsyth, uh, Jonathan Rourke, all these type of guys who will come in and receive the ball, pass the ball, want to get on the ball. You're encouraging them to do that. So yeah. that, that's that's the, the important bit. Keep asking them to do that. And and sooner, or sooner enough, your, your luck will change. And the performance levels is what it's all about, of course, with results. And we'll get there because there's too many good players here not to. Yeah, there's, there, there seems to be definitely a change, just n not a change as such, just a, maybe a style of play and the team have been exceptional for, for a number of weeks and I think we, we talk about small margins and, and maybe just the soft goals that's maybe been conceding and probably an area that you'll look at and say, how do I how do I tighten up the back door essentially? Yeah, so sometimes that can just be a little bit of mentality and we, we talked about that as a team. After the Linfield game we talked about you know conceding goals at one end and, and, and not taking your chances when they come at the other end yeah. and that's just that little 5% mentality that you have to be ultra strong in your defending and, and, and ruthless in your finishing and, and but if the performance levels are good and you're, you're, you're dominating the ball or dominating possession of the, in, in areas of the football pitch that will come and, and you must keep you know as a forward you must keep practicing and keep yeah. working hard in your finishing and you know uh, that was born out today with one of the goals that we've scored. But we've got to keep working hard with the players because that's what it's all about. Well, we don't know the draw yet, Stephen, for Tuesday night, but all the very best of luck and well done today. So thank you for thank joining you. us. Very thank, good you. thank you. Ben Kennedy, thank you very much for joining us. Good performance today, good win for the team. Happy enough? Yeah, it was a very good performance, a very professional performance. Um, we knew it would come here and it'd be tough. Um, they're not a bad little side. And the first 15 20, they, settled, they sat in well and we struggled to break them down. But once we got the first goal, we then got the second one, third one, and we then controlled the game from there on in. Just on a personal note, Ben, I know you, you suffered an injury and you had to maybe be patient to come back into the side. You've got to run of games now. I think you've been doing very well. How happy are you with your own performance over the last few weeks? Yeah, I feel like I've been playing well. enjoy it in there in the midfield role. Um, I feel like I can get on the ball more, and that's that's my game, getting on the ball and keeping things tick. Um, but yeah, it's been good, and I've enjoyed it. Obviously, the results haven't been the last two games, but I think we deserve more than what we got the last two games, but it's been positive and yeah, I'm just glad to be back playing. Enjoy. And in the hat for the next round on Tuesday night, Ben, I'm sure you'll be you'll be hoping for maybe a home draw or suppose as a player you're just looking at it and saying we'll be ready for any team? Yeah, that's it, we'll be ready for anyone. We'll have a rest tomorrow and get back in on Monday and stretch, recover and get ready for the game Tuesday and whoever it is, bring it on. Hopefully it's a big one. <laughs> Absolutely. And just talk as I wanted to touch base. I know somebody had walked by there and made reference to the Ronaldo free kick. I just wanted to ask you about it because you, you hit it nice and sweetly. Uh, it was nice, wasn't it? Uh, no, I saw the gap um, on the right <laughs> on the right side of the wall and I just thought I'll whip it round it and went in the top corner. I wouldn't say Ronaldo asked, Jesus. I'm far from that. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't me that said it. Nah. <laughs> I think I might have been a BBC commentator. <laughs> but yeah, and you went for the second one then, the same place? Yeah, we're not talking about that one, Leo. <laughs> Just too much elevator. <laughs> ben, thank you very much no for problem. joining us. Well played today. I thought Cheers. you were very good.